wake up I say my prayers, then I blaze up A plate of breakfast that my girl chef up Morning pretty with no makeup yeah, now that I'm woken, I'm smoking, layin' my body in clothing, Chevrolet doors open, 4G idols rolling, on the interstate like niggas was shooting at your yeah. when I when I was coming up, no limit in cash money was visible. So it inspired me because I would be I remember coming from the airport one day with my sister. I was a kid though, alright? These fools had all back to back matching fucking what, PT Cruises and all this shit in the line. Fucking, uh, I remember Master P bought everybody. Escalades when they first dropped, like everybody on No Limit. He just bought them niggas Escalades and if you signed to No Limit, you got a house and a Camaro. You feel me? So that gave me something to push for because I'm like, shit, I, I gotta try and get next to one of these fools and, and let them know what I could do so I could get in that, in that system. But if we don't have somebody who done made some moves and still visible, then nobody got nothing to reach for. You feel me? Like, watching motherfuckers on TV is cool, but if you bump into somebody and you can see it, you can put your hands on it. Cash Money Office used to be down here on Canal and shit. They had, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, was, it wasn't hard to see motherfuckers so and how, see that how shit. How big was this for you to make this happen, make this move? Look, this, this I had this building for uh, maybe two, maybe, maybe a year and a half now. Uh, up there is our, our headquarters office and we store a lot of the clothes in here and I just decided we should do a little holiday pop-up right here. Um, of course, in a minute, that's my coffee shop and this would be the, the apparel store, you know? So I really just wanted to do a dry run and just see how people would react if we did something like that. And it went from being a one-day thing to I think we're probably just going to hold it right there until probably until Mardi Gras, bro, because it's like, that stuff would be sold out this weekend, so that orange shirt, that, what's up, baby? That orange shirt, that highlighter long sleeve, a lot of that stuff, uh, the, the uh, Grand Prix t-shirts and shit, they all like down to their final numbers, so it'll be a completely different store Monday, because that shit not going to be there, you know what I'm saying? That, that's the best part of it. I just got off the plane and I, I gave my orange satin jacket away in DC yesterday to a friend because I knew I could come back to my store and get that orange jacket. That shit definitely could be me. But do you see me with the orange jacket? No, because the fucking orange jacket sold out before I got here. So I don't have my own jacket. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and at this point, no, not even stop you. But we don't even call it merch. A tour merch will say, you know, such and such tour, whatever concert. This is apparel, this is functional clothing, you know. This is for a thing, yeah, this is a thing. Yeah, just talk about like growing up, like coming up from when you was the like, you know, looking up to like people like Soldier Slim, people like BG and all, let me say. Hold on, let me get my cup. Let me get my, let me get my cup. Yeah, you know that's why I just, that's why I knew I could approach you. And I knew I could, the, you know. The hotel right here is going to call on that parking lot. When they, oh, when yeah. They it up there, oh, the yeah. hotel is going to be, what's up, what's up? It's going to go down. It's going to be the one that's there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's going to go down. Right there. That's on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, they looking at us, cuz, man. I thought I got him in trouble. I thought I got you in trouble for talking to you. <laughs> like back to what I was saying, like how, how it was like growing up under like cash money, growing up under Master P, and Let me you tell looking you. up to them, and then now you're the big dog. You know what I mean? Well, being around them showed me that that money was tangible. As a kid playing Dreamcast, I saw Silk the Shocker go to the mailbox, come back in the house, pop the a check out of the mailbox, huh? Guess what? Just buy a Ferrari today. Right. Scratching his face, just ah, uh, I don't know what to do with this, you know? Bam! I thought it was a joke, cause I'm like, well, I just got around. He just said that so I could feel like they balling like that. <laughs> I went to sleep. I woke up. 355 Spider in the driveway, top down. Mm. Fresh tags. I'm like, geez, self, like, you can't be serious. <laughs> and at that point, I was just like. Passing out trapped in crime t-shirts. Right. You know, I would nobody even knew I could rap. 
I was really just like passing out shit and uh, holding my cello down. Like my brother had then linked a little deal between Tough Guys and No Limits, so he was doing his shit. And I was just happy to have t-shirts right. and borrow chains. I would borrow chains from the homies and go to dances and shit like that. So like at the beginning of it all, like even when you was just straight up rapping, did you always have that boss mindset, like the entrepreneur mindset? Well, t yeah, because I've only observed bosses. And you know, I same thing with basketball players. Love, bro. With basketball players, a motherfucker stay garbage if he playing with garbage niggas. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. As a, as a youngster, but sitting around motherfuckers at this level, you know, decades older than me and shit, there was no room for me to still be a kid because the stakes was too high around these niggas. So it's like, if I fuck this up, you know, no telling what will happen to me. Cause I know what kind of motherfuckers these is. So it just made me grow up fast, you know, and watching them have the power to make things happen for their family. I'm really close to my mom. And I knew the only way I'd really be able to lay her out was if I bust up, you know. And she ended up sitting on the couch next to her teddy bear, drinking Bell up. She, she, yeah, she kicking it. She just come to this stuff to see, you know, to see me chilling. Right. So yeah, it's cool. That was the plan, man. So, I know you had your uh, your first son, but man, like the cold, like New Orleans, and uh, just people in Louisiana and in general, you got a lot of people that look up to you, that they get through. Let me tell you something. That's love and that's news to me because me, I, I'm around a lot, so I don't feel like whatever I say have an impact on anybody because we all the same. I took, I drew my inspiration from people I could see rarely, and I'm so tangible, and they weren't, so I can understand how I drew it from them. But I can't. It shocks me when people like, man, bro, this this song helped me do such and such, or this is pushing me to help me do. It. I'm like, that's crazy, like for sure, because you see me every day, so that's that got to be the shit to be inspired every fucking day. Then, so that that's cool, and, and I'm honored, I'm honored by it, and, and that's why. I, I keep pushing the city and trying to be like part of what helps the next person get their establishment and get their shit going and stay here because I'm an example of not moving. <laughs> no, look, I got pictures. Hey, he's the one putting the hand. He, he's he's going to make sure your car come out of there. Where's in that bitch yesterday with Jay Lavin's doors? You? No, not me. Oh. No, they was up and down. Yeah, well, like I said, motherfuckers always telling me I should probably dip, you know what I'm saying? But I can't because if I dip, there's a lot of little motherfuckers who I. Who, who I fuck with personally, who I don't want to be, I don't want to not see what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? There's a couple young motherfuckers out here who I think can make it, and the fact that I'm around kind of keep them from fucking up. You know, so I just want to stay around. I just want to stay around. You know, watch them fools get their ticket, and once everybody get a million, like I ever tell all them little niggas, like when you get your shit. Just give me a zip and we straight. I don't, you don't owe me nothing, you know. I just want to see niggas get this shit, that's all. Just talk about like the New Orleans scene, man. Like, you know, you got people like, cause they went kind of dead for a minute. You was yeah, the only person that yeah, was did. really like, yeah, still did. staying consistent. Did. Now you got people like T.Y., you got yeah. Calvin, you got. Yeah, I look, Nino know the shit. He just, he got so much going on. Right. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love him to death. I'm gonna keep, you know, I shoot everybody straight anytime I speak on one of the young niggas out here. But I'm from here and I know what it is. The music, that shit is slow. So the niggas be one foot in, one foot out to make sure they pocket still straight. You shoot videos, you do whatever you're doing, you gotta have everything there. And to have all that shit, you gotta fucking take the fucking drastic measures to do it. So it's hard to tell them niggas like, you gotta stop this to do this. You know what I'm saying? I understand it and I identify with all of them. I just want to see all of them get their shit, you know, before them niggas get them. You know, that's it. It's a race, you know. You get enough, you, you get enough to get to get out the way and then you get your people out the way. Then you set up some shit to where 
motherfuckers ain't got to be in harm's in harm's way in, in a bad path to get they scratched. Like I don't have to worry about like I'm not gonna get no call about what happened to Cody or Vish or Tish or Lip because them niggas right here and that's like my homeboys. So niggas ain't in the street doing what we was doing to get straight. Them niggas right here making sure the stove straight. G boy running the fucking register and shit. Like, that's my homie from out of Cali, oh, that nigga in there doing, you know, some other shit. So, I don't have to worry about where niggas at, we right here, so, that's what I want niggas to do. You get that scratch, oh, look at this motherfucking Cali. <laughs> I got an El Dorado. I just don't like no caddies. I like uh, I, I like Chevys. I got a couple of nine Chevy cars, but they all by my partner's houses. So I don't, like, where the love I don't cars come from, the dog? My mom. Yeah, my dad don't even like cars. Cause my my, my mom, my mom was 100. My, <laughs> my mama would fucking get me Hot Wheels in the grocery store. Like we we're going Schwegman or wherever. And, well, shit, you might. I don't know. You young. You weren't here for Schwegman. Save a center, we go to save a center and fucking uh I would go off down the different aisles fucking with shit, opening cereal, trying to get the fucking prize out the bottom of the shit, just doing dumb shit. So she was like, if you stay by me, when we get to the checkout, you could get two cars. Cause the high wheels was right up there by the candy. So I just started behaving and fucking getting high wheels and fuck. Nah, yeah, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> and she, and soon as I started getting a little scratch before I moved out of her crib when I still was young, she couldn't really trip off what I was doing because I had three cars in her driveway. Like, before I even moved, like, you know what I'm saying? My priorities was all the way fucked up. But it's like, you you know, she did that to me, yeah. That's why I told you about her, man. She, she was in, my mama a gangster, bro. She, everything I ever done, my mom always 100%. And when I, when I, even when I left, when I left Cash Money, my dad was like, man, you tripping, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a, a positive, that's a situation you know for sure you're gonna make some scratch. You should stick with it or you gonna have to go get you a job or something, some, some for sure money. My mom was like, you know, you gonna be, do, do your thing, you know what I'm saying? And I, I got to the point where I was about to start selling shit to make sure I could pay for the studio. Like, getting rid of jewelry. Like getting rid of cars I wasn't fucking with and shit. And my mom was like, you can't do that because motherfuckers got their eyes on you. If it look like you falling off, they're not gonna fuck with you. And my mom fucking like held me down. Like 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 how the big homie will pull up on you and be like, him, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? My mama gave me a lot of money that she built out of money I gave her from no limit and cash money. Like in my time as a kid, she was like, man, I knew at some point something might happen so bam and she put me right back on like a nigga like like she gave me two bricks so, so emphasize on that part right there like just going through that struggle, that struggle fuck it's part. real my nigga like dig this uh i go to sleep with the ceiling fan on in my spot when i moved out because when i wake up it would break my heart to flip a light switch and realize the lights got cut off that's how much the lights used to get cut off so I leave the ceiling fan on when I go to sleep. If I wake up and the motherfucker not spinning, I don't need, I know not to even trip. It's like, fuck it, man. Mash out and figure out how I'm gonna get this fucking 180 or whatever the fuck I own, put the lights back on, and then bust a move from there. And them niggas that's here right now is the niggas that was there when I didn't have the 180 and was still smoking in the crib with no lights. Cause we was, even if we had it, we had to get the weed first. Then we gonna cut the lights on. So we get the weed and like fuck it. And them niggas was still chilling in the dark, smoking weed with me, you know what I'm saying? And then lo and behold, we'll bust a move the next day or somebody might call me and be like, look, come bring me some. That's when I had the Fly Society t-shirts and shit. They be like, bring some t-shirts by the, by the gas station, let me sling them for you. Some shit might happen like that for me and we cut the lights on the next day, you know? But that's, that's the struggle. Motherfuckers don't know how to deal with it and they break on it and you don't know how close you was to getting your paper, like, you quit right when that motherfucker was about to happen for you. I know that for sure. I know that. Niggas gotta, you gotta get that shit up. You gotta mash on to the next point, man. If you get that, you give, that's what it's designed for, to break you. The whole game design is designed to break you because it's only for a motherfucker that deserve it. So for the one that's gonna hold it, you know, then the universe gonna open up for you. You know what I'm saying? That's my pops right there. Come here, dad. Come on, cuz. <laughs> Man, my pops, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, with you, Mr. Yeah, right, man. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Alright, nigga, you got your shirt. 
Oh, what? Song, what song you want to hear? I played it first. Give me that yellow phone on top of the speaker. So I just got one last question for y'all. This nigga out here requesting old <laughs> Well, I know like, more old music than him though. That's really what's dry. That, that's what be fucking him up. Look, he, he, look, man. He might have played four songs in my whole lifetime. <laughs> I've been putting him on old since then. <laughs> since I started low riding, I've been the one. He, yeah, he got. You gotta give it up. Give it up. You gave me some Smokey Robinson songs, bro. But I, I put you on. So just one last question for you, mm -hmm. man. What's next for Jet Life? What's the next level of uh, honestly, I want to make sure. Come on, look at him. Look at him. You know we. You, say, say. You see what we doing? Oh. <laughs> but now, nah, come on, come on with it, cause you started it. Still rolling, bro. Till I your pay back. All right, yeah. all right, all right. That's what's yeah, up. So what's next that that up, bro. Life, man. You talking about that one or the one we rapped on? That one. All right, nigga. Man, come on with that. All right, I'm gonna put it on so you can sing, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, well, what we was talking about? What's next for Jet Life? Uh, honestly, bro, I wanna just. I'm about to build me another car. So in the midst of me building that, Ty and Fendi gonna step up and do their thing. I got so much music recorded. I don't have to go to the studio. I got like fucking a hundred records in there right now. Fucking uh, me and Ross got some shit put together. We gonna we gonna do some shit. Me and Dizzy just dropped today. I dropped the remix album yesterday for Hot August Nights. Uh, me and Fuse from 808 Mafia have an album done. Me and Ski got Pilot Talk 4 recorded already. Me and Wiz got a whole nother album in the cut. The whole Jet Life got an album together. Uh, shit, me and Roddy got fucking bells too. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm about to build a car. I'm about to build a 62. <laughs> I got my 68 rag about to come out probably tomorrow. I got to put them up. The only thing I'm missing is this trunk key. Once I go to the stoop, once I go to the shop, and we put that in that joint, I'm cool. I, I'm going to charge the, the batteries up. And you'll probably see it out here on three wheels before before the weekend out. Uh, but that's it. I'm just worrying about putting the homies in motion and, and pushing the line, you know? Because, like, I, I'm in my 30s now. Like, I, I'm not tripping. Like, I, I get sleepy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I'm trying to get yeah, ready. Yeah, I'm transitioning <laughs> into my to my my triple OG thing. Right. So I ain't gonna be rapping that much longer, man. I'm about to position all the homies, and I'm I'm gonna get in there and, and <laughs> ride off like it's tripping. I appreciate this, man. You doing nah, it's good, bro. Us, man. You got it, man. Spread it and yeah. dread it. The hardest. It's all good. Work. Look, man. Fuck with me. Y'all niggas doing y'all thing. I'm in support of anybody who's trying to do something. You know what I'm saying? It's enough bullshit out here, dude. Just let me know, bro. Yeah. Whatever I can plug y'all in on. If y'all traveling, y'all out, y'all off base, and y'all trying to find something, just hear me. Straight up, we been in touch with Moose, so fuck yeah, that way. We yeah, really but in touch with I know where it's at. Everywhere, <laughs> nigga, just, just hit me. It's good, huh? One hundred.